It's Might time. as well. It's but time. Currently, he is here at Zeno274. We are going to be seeing him play against the one and only John Numbers, Wii Fit Trainer versus Samus. Let's get to it. Yep. It's a small battlefield. Yeah, this is John's home. Right? He, <laughs> he, he loves this stage. He thinks it's the he's not only the most neutral stage, but also just the best stage that you can go to against uh, as we fit. Yeah. Because not only do you get the ba the battlefield blast zones, mm -hmm. you also just get these ledges with a platform close by for so many mix-ups. Yeah. The problem kind of relies in the fact that they're like, oh, numbers. You want to put yourself in the corner? Here is Samus Bench traffic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's it's really difficult to get out of, even if Quake is standing a bit further away than most Samus's would. He is still keeping that Wii Fit at the ledge. Reads through all, but just a tad too late. The spot touch coming out from John Numbers is going to save his life there. Now, Quake actually at the 102% already, so he needs to watch out for what John Numbers is about to do. John Numbers kind of trying to fling around and see what he can get away with, but the forwarder is going to send John Numbers off the stage again. I love the mobility that Quick has been showing off, not only with the charge shots and these bombs, the classic Samus stuff, but wave landing onto the platforms, mixing up the spacings, as you were mentioning, mm -hmm. in these ledge traps, to really play into the fact that Samus, uh, Samus is Hitbox shuffling yeah. can really put a thorn into numbers of sides in these reversals that John loves to be in. Ooh, do you, Did you see that? A hard landing off the platform into the neutral air, trading with John numbers. And now you said the moment that's kind of the quick we've been know, uh, we've known, and that forward tilt after the spot that's beating out such a fast option. But ooh, that is a risky DI there from John numbers. He's going back to the stage, escape the Samus ledge trap. Ooh, but is not knocked up uh, uh, far enough enough by the bomb to get him out of the charge. Card. I love that numbers took the bomb intentionally so he could get the double jump onto stage with the header. Mm -hmm. Basically blow quick up for 62%, all for taking like eight. Like <laughs> super good trade on the part of numbers, yeah. and you're surviving so long yeah. because of that. Yeah, and especially he's been, he, since the, he has been getting, oh, actually saving him, I think, but he's been getting really good results of getting off the ledge against Qu Samus, a notoriously difficult task. Now gets a re-grab, has the header in, and the sun salutation to avoid that tether grab or the Zarin there. And now it is going to be John Numbers again in the lead. That header doing so much for John Numbers in this match. Yeah, the fact that header reliably and consistently trades for yeah. a charge shot is such a huge swing of momentum anytime yeah. Numbers gets the chance to throw it out mm -hmm. at all. It forces Quick to be much more reactive rather than proactive with his ledge trapping. Oh. Okay. Now we get some platform pressure for Quig. Doesn't get to extend it, but now the full charge will actually be able to hit both John Numbers and the ball. Now the crouch, we saw it before, it dodges the charge up, but not the grab. And now Quig again with John Numbers at the ledge. Gonna try and get something going, but the, the volleyball again, the MVP of this game, number one, is gonna save we fit there. And now it's just keeping back and forth, going back and forth to this ledge, and John is trying to escape it, and he's been so successful at that. But the quick really seems to struggle where he's going to get this damage from. That was so yeah. cheeky from numbers, uh, being able to down smash the volleyball in order to set up a situation where Quick had burned the charge shot, Sun Salutation for the finisher. Numbers is keeping track for all of these resources so, so well, oh. but not that one. Getting thrown way off stage for this. Can Quick finish off the stock? Okay, goes a bit too deep, and John now again at the ledge. Does have the header, but the forward tilt backwards hit. It's gonna send Quick the fit up there. Now the up B again. It's just finding these small interactions, no big charge shot. There's no real confirms off of the charge shot so far. Now, John Number slowly but surely getting in that up throw percentage as well, so he needs to watch out for the grab. But for now, he's not even in the position to be grabbed, he's just off stage. It's so interesting to watch Numbers play this ledge game and just really mix up quick with it, uh, quick up with it going for the aerial screw attack to try and mince meet that shield. Yeah. But, I mean, if you're surviving until 170, every one of these mm -hmm. stocks, stock, you're just like, oh, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've got like two minutes to work oh, with here. The, the tall, actually. I don't know what <laughs> what we fit is doing, but she is enjoying herself here. Yeah, she's just chilling, just waiting, waiting for Quick to make a move, right? Mm -hmm. Quick's game plan is slowly becoming more and more simplified, and these pump fakes, at the percent John is at, especially with deep breathing online, just doesn't need to care about them. Oh, tries to go for the back here, doesn't get out. Oh, actually, a full-on clank between the two projectiles. That's a full projectile model. Using invincibility to throw to actually get through that sun salutation. Great option there by Quick to break through that wall. Now it is still Quick in a slight percentage disadvantage. Oh, that is a missed up. No up smash, gets for the down smash in case he fell through the platform, but that's not going to be the case. Now John Numbers, again at the ledge, barely judging that charge. Oh, and now gets the downer. Big damage for Quick here. 
Yeah, that was a, a huge momentum swing, and now Quick gets to play. Some of this platform is missing that forward air just barely, but Samus has plenty of just raw, uh, raw hit kill power, especially off of these charge shots, mm -hmm. able to find maybe a sweet spot back air if Numbers goes for a risky ledge jump. But at this point, oh! Nice. Yep, there it is. Yep. Again, the clank of the two projectiles, baiting right. him into using the Sun Salutation so that the dash attack connects. Smart option there by Quick, beating out John was what it looked like an intense struggle between the two. For sure. Like, we're seeing the spacing getting played with so yeah. diversely between these two. And if we get once we get a look at that last stock, uh, there was a couple interactions. One yeah. was the throw that you mentioned yeah. earlier. But this spacing that Quick finds, hold on, let, me get, let him get there. It's this one, right, yeah. Right, right. Oh, oh yeah, we, oh, we were. Oh. This this position right here is like, I'm just close yeah. enough yeah. to where the back and forth shot game exactly. is just never going to, it's <laughs> always going to revolt into Samus' favor because Samus is just quicker on the draw. Exactly, exactly. And that is the key that he got to game number one. But the fact that John Numbers got such an advantage early on and kind of stuck to it for the most part is a telling sign for Quick. They need to be careful with this Weefage Runner, barely missing the charge shot, but the deep briefing is up. Actually dodging the Sun Salutation just barely. Hurt box shifting is yep, what, it, it, it's what yep. makes Samus so, it's what makes Quick style of Samus yeah. only work with Samus specifically mm -hmm. and not Dark Samus. Mm -hmm. It's a... It's a small difference, but it completely changes the playstyle, and Quick is the best at taking advantage of it. Ooh, oh, very nice. Okay, charge it into the forward smash, now getting the position where he wants to be. And John numbers so well, and especially like Samus has won some really strong anti-airs against uh, most characters, but John numbers playing around it so carefully as well, not getting up there, not getting forward air too much, and if he gets it, he just falls out of it most of the time. Yeah, just waiting to overcommit there, seeing an opening, but not against that forward air. Those anti-airs and air-to-airs that Quick has available to them. Just instantaneous on reaction, and we're seeing numbers pull away from that header game just a little bit, trying to keep some uh, some secrets in his pocket as the percentage gets more and more even, and higher and higher it goes. Mm -hmm. Now, we fit with the deep breathing is going to be a scary part. Gets the header, spike hitbox in the upper. Not going to get the KO while deep breathing is a small sigh of relief. Now we are entering this position where the zoning game is going to start. Projectile Wars are coming through, but the down tilt is going to break it through. Now John Numbers, again, it's a, but getting the upper hand with the Sun Salutation there, sending Quick off the stage again. And some volleyball shenanigans actually going to counter John Numbers himself. Again, far playing at that spacing where you knew you could clash yep. with the charge beams and finding a grab afterwards. Not only is Quick mixing up the spacings and the timings with these uh, clashes, but also the follow-up that he gets yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. First time I saw the dash tag, now it's the grab. Perfect 50-50 there from Quick, especially since both kill at that point. It's inescapable. Sure. Now John number one, 48% on Quick. One forward tilt away for securing the first stock. Really big one for the momentum, but currently Quick keeping himself to the center stage, doesn't have the best of survivability in this, but the semi-full charge shot <laughs> is going to send him out of there. Yeah, that sun salutation, and especially with deep breathing online, the numbers is proving dangerous, even at the most minuscule of percents. Deep breathing not online anymore, though, but the fact that numbers consistently gets away with so yeah. like he was able to land on platform and quick has almost done nothing about that taking yeah. very minimal damage finally intercepting before the platform there as quick gets a setup with yet another one of these ledge traps okay i like the missile just in case double jab is going to get punished for sure no mix up there and it is again it's, it's just a small conversion but it's just big for the optics quick is able to pull out because it keeps him on his toes now another roll four until it's not going to whiff or it's not going to miss the four grab is gonna get it out of there. Oh, setting these bombs. Yep. Not. Smoke. It's so weird because Quick will do that all day, but so will Numbers. And yeah. It, <laughs> and it's like when who makes the move first? It's yeah. the most like odd game of chicken you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, again, Ooh. tries to go for the open, but this time it's shield pokes actually. So a good option there to keep John Numbers off the platform. Now Sun Station 2%. It's gonna make it equal between both players. 90, uh, 89% on both of them. But the charge of Samus is gonna push it over the edge. Now actually go under the volleyball. Slowly but surely the damage rising up, but the volleyball itself. Weak backer actually, not getting the strong hit there as Quick is currently in quite a predicament to get out of there. But the up B actually going to send him up there and it is going to be Quick taking six stock. Yeah, interesting decision there from Numbers to go for a dash attack on the platform. Yeah. It's uh, 
the, one of the bigger risks that he's taken offset and definitely getting punishing, punished for accordingly by just that frame four up the outer shield. And now quick, it, it contrasted game one in the driver's seat going into final stock. Yeah, that roll for Weef had gone so far and then the volleyball snipe. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Right, and again, John was alive, but a good neutral, no double jump for John Numbers. Does have the follow-up out of the protector, has to re-grab, and the a down good smash. down smash from Quick there. And it is a good position here to finish it off. Still no double jump for John here. Oh, actually catching him with the last hit of the four there. Quick just consistently keeping John Numbers off stage without a double jump, and slowly but surely, percentages are adding up. Oh, but the one hit of the super hoop is gonna interrupt quick in that edge there and makes it, uh, lets John the numbers back on the stage. Yeah, that was so close, but so much damage. Just able to set up in this position multiple times over, looking for some of these jumps, setting up double bomb, trying to keep numbers in a, just a prone, prone position as quick sets up a feint or two, but numbers gets a grab here with deep breathing. Uh oh, uh -oh. We're getting in a precarious spot here. Dagobert, we're seeing numbers do his thing. <laughs> it is, he, she might not have deep breathing, but this Wii Fit is still able to take a sock in a couple of range interactions, especially if that ball is going to keep doing chip damage. And chip damage against Quick. And you see, it is like a big difference, but suddenly, after two volleyballs and a half sun salutations, it is enough to make it equal. And the forward tilt upper hitbox actually going to send Quick almost to his demise. But luckily, barely surviving, zaring the volleyball into her face. And now, risky positioning for John Numbers. We've seen this before in game number one in projector glasses, but this are playing it safe, but still getting up there. And it is going to be the KO. Quick advancing through to the loser's bracket with a 2-0 victory. And you see that deep, yeah. deep <laughs> sigh of relief from Quick, just like the <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> that, that's like a, a 200 heart rate set. Yeah, that's, that's the number of experience. He yeah. gets you to play the grind yeah. game. But fortunately for Quick, yeah. he's just able, he's played enough with players like DeBuzz, as we were mentioning mm. earlier, and other European yeah. threats where committing to the grind game is yeah. just part of what Samus can do in some matchups, mm -hmm. and there's very few characters that can outgrind her. Yep, yep. We fit yep. coming close, but close, but no cigar. Yeah. And again, as you said, that dash attack such a, a interesting option. Let's yeah. say that. But I just want to this position. We saw it, this in game one. You talked about it. This is just perfect. Yeah. It's so it, it, it won in game one, and it won in game two. Basically, this position such a great position for for Quick to be in. Even though the charge shot whiffs at this point, it's not gonna be enough to stop quick and gets the upper just and i, I want to point out two yeah. things about this yeah. it's the it's not only the chart shot like you're it, it's quick having quick having more of that resource and yeah, more yeah. of that uh more of the initiative when <laughs> upon holding a higher chart shot but these little let's go half speed here these little pump fakes yeah. he does like those are so crucial because so scary. <laughs> because you get a chance to watch they're like i'm gonna yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. nope Nope. <laughs> Especially since the shooting itself is unreactable. Right. It's like, so scary. So that for, so you can see like numbers doesn't want to yeah. land back here. Yeah. So yeah, you just he, go over he, it. He tries to take to the air. And then we go again with Samus having one of the strongest anti-air kits, honestly, against just opponents being above her and then the upper such a big hitbox connecting fresh off the bat. The KO. Yeah, when you dominate the horizontal, there's yeah. only one way that your opponent can go, and you only have one <laughs> double jump. Yeah, it's like you can't stay up there forever. <laughs> I mean, 